Hello, good morning, happy Friday. Zilby's here with us too. Although I think he really only follows me down because he didn't like the food that I put out for him. So he's he's probably hoping that I'll eventually bring bring food, like somehow have food. But until then, we get Zilby. Uh, so today, um. Nobody responded to my support request for actions and um, basically figuring out how to get the user info from Hasura using an action because the uh, the roles were gonna have to come through like that URL and um, and that didn't seem to be working. So I've ripped it out of the actions, so it's it's not here anymore, and we're gonna go straight to Auth0 from the front end. We're gonna use that token that we have and uh, get the user info that way. So that's what we're gonna do this morning. Command and that's option, right? I think that's option. I mean, okay, I don't know what use that, that is though. Uh, all right, let's go into our LMS. Let us find our API auth. So what I'm thinking here is get user info. This is gonna have to change because we're no longer, well, actually there's a bunch of things that are gonna have to change. Um, okay, so first of all, we have a new thing, don't we? Let's introspect again. Um, I somehow screwed up my, my layout with Zellage too. So I think I need to reset that sometime. Uh, let's do a pane split down. Yeah, I feel like it kind of knows about my layout, but also kind of doesn't. Uh, okay, so in LMS, I want to do a, what was that? That's a oh, GraphQL client. We'll introspect again. That should cause some errors over in database. Okay, so this one is no longer a thing, right? So queries, user info, we're going to delete that. Okay, you're happy. Um, let's see, you're good. Okay, so then in source, we have database queries and we're gonna remove this one. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to head into API auth. This get user info no longer exists. And you're gonna change now. Okay, so result. We're gonna have to create, we're gonna have to create a new type for this, aren't we? So we'll do a pub struct, maybe like a um, user info. I don't remember exactly what's, what it's gonna come in as. Oh, oh, the other day we, we did directly hit it. I just forgot exactly what we have. Um, and I also can't remember if it's going to come in with the data or not. I don't think it is. But uh, let's, let's go ahead and create a new user. We'll do our meow. Asitsu, hello. How's your day going today? Oh, I need to log in now. Do 
need to figure out how to turn that off too. I wonder if I need to pay them to do it. Okay, yes, I know, I know. It's gonna be it's all messed up. But we should get storage. We can grab the token now. All right, send in here. Uh, do I want to do it in here? Probably, no, probably not in here. I'll do it over here. Okay, things are still progressing slowly, waiting on the original developers for another round of fixes. Uh, it's, all, it's never fun to do. There's been times that I've, um, that I've ended up focusing, like, I don't, what was it? I, I ended up grabbing... I ended up grabbing just like some wrapper or something, or maybe creating a wrapper to just uh, do that myself. Twisted Seed, hello. How are you doing today? Yeah, it, it so it, it sucks when, when things are, um, you're waiting for somebody else to fix things. I um I opened up the dev tools for Apple the other day and I found a request for like a fix to something from back when I was a system bin. And I was like, oh my god, that's been there forever. And they had requested information on it. We had gone back and forth a few times and uh yeah, never never worked. I should learn with the keyboard commands for uh, uh, deleting, like going back multiple things. I think I think I can do that. I just don't know what it is. Okay, so we'll paste you in. All right, so we're gonna get just a strain, a uh, straight, a straight response like this. So we're gonna have. Uh, Pub sub, that's going to be a string. We're going to have a nickname. That's going to be a string. And we're going to have a name. Uh, we're going to have a picture. updated at now because I have an updated at and because I have some date stuff I don't know if I actually care about this uh, like what what things do I actually care about here so sub nickname probably because you can set that to be like your display name so maybe I don't care about the name Maybe I, I care about the picture, maybe, so I can like show show the picture at some point in time. And heck, if I if I really wanted to like just focus right now, all I actually care about, let's say all I really care about is the nickname. I just want that. Okay, so I want to derive uh, serialize. Serialize. Okay, we're going to return that. Along with the LMS error. Okay, so we don't need variables. Uh, we do not need a query because we're going to be doing a get now. So this is going to be entirely different. Okay, so let response equals. Uh, we're going to use glue net HTTP request get. Okay, you need, we need to create the URL for this. 
which means I need. Oh, and we have this in the mod, don't we? So source off mod. Oh, we don't have this. It's something similar to this, though. Really, it's okay. It's the dishwasher. We're below the kitchen, so dishwasher is making noise upstairs. Uh, okay, so this is not going to be GraphQL URI. This is going to be the Otzero domain. Which I believe we have in an environment variable. Otzero domain. Okay, so we grab that. Now, I shouldn't be getting the user info that often, so I can just create the uh, the URL here. So let the URL format. All right, so I believe this starts with HTTPS, so I can just go ahead and use the auth0 domain here and then slash user info. Okay, so then we're gonna get this response, we're gonna put in the URL. Uh, we need to put in the headers. So we have a header, the key is gonna be authorization. Uh, and the value is gonna be another format. Uh, so this is gonna be uh, authorization. Okay, so we're gonna have bearer, space, and then a token. Yeah, okay, you wanna reference there? Okay, so we set the header. Uh, I believe we then do ascend. We await you, and we can question mark you. We can't question mark you. We have to map the air. All right, so we're going to get this air. And I want to convert this into an LMS air. So the first thing I want to do is probably... I mean, it'd be nice to print out what the error was. I don't think I set up our, our logger to do that. I guess what we can do, let's create the error first. So we can shadow the error to convert it into an LMS error. LMS error. Auth get state, auth state missing. Oh, this is going to be different. Okay. So my errors, because this, this is not the same. We're not doing auth get state, auth state missing. Yeah, we're not doing ascending to GraphQL API anymore. We're now going to be doing a uh, getting user info. Okay, so error. Um, so I can do a string here. I can't remember. Can I do a static string? That'd be the best. 
Okay. Um, error getting user info from Auth0. Okay, that's not hating that. Okay, so um, getting user info, and then this is going to be, oh, it's not, we don't want this to be a static string. We want this to be the error. So we could do something like error.toString. Sometimes I want it to be a static string. This time I want it to be a string. Okay, so we return you. But actually, if I if I have this error, I can now log the error out. Well, the error is going to be logged out anyways. So let's um, I can just return you. Okay, so once I have that, that's come back, so we sent it, we can now do a, so let's expect it to stir, found a string, okay, for the URL. And now it's just, hey, we're not we're not returning the right times. Great. So after we do this, it's time for us to now convert this into JSON. Uh, I want this to be this user info. We have to await it, and then another map error. which kind of just want this. Okay. You claim that's gonna work, but I have my doubts because oftentimes when we try to do this, it's gonna be something like, oh, there's a data inside. We have to deal with the fact that there's a data in there. Uh, we'll, we'll see whether or not we have that. Uh, okay, so we get that. Then, user response. I want to call this now. Oh, what are you upset about? Oh, cannot find dot and v. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to pull you in. dot mv macro All right, I think that'll work. Okay. So you should be happy here. Now we can head over to our redirect. Okay, so after we get everything in, it's time for us to get the user info. So we run this function, we pass in the token. Uh, we get this user info, which is that struct here. Uh, and we log data. Okay, so you're you're upset because you don't implement debug. Okay, we can we can go over and do that.
Okay. Now we're only getting the nickname now. So now it's now it's going to be a little bit interesting to get this out. So maybe we'll start with, hey, did we did we get this? Uh, and we'll navigate. Okay, we'll push to go home as soon as we get this. Otherwise, we have an error. All right. And it looks like it was successfully compiled. Let's go run this. There we go. Okay, first try. User info, user info, nickname, meow. So I want to store that in our auth. Okay, well that makes it that makes it so easy. Okay, so uh, now we have this reduce mute feature. We have the state there, which means that at this point I have access to it. So we can do state dot nickname is equal to user info dot nickname. And that's it. Oh, are you a sum? You're a sum. Okay, we have that there. And then I think, I think that'll just start working. Let's try it again. Oh, it almost starts working. Uh, no errors there, but the welcome doesn't show it. The network shows we made the request, right? User info. Okay, so I got I got the stuff, and we got all these things. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with that soon too, but Surday should be able to handle that no problem. Okay, I want the welcome to include a username. That's that's what I want. I want that welcome to be include username. Uh, we are currently not seeing anything like that. And apparently because I don't have that in there, that's fun. So that is in the app. Oh yeah, here it is, okay. So is authenticated. So we know to show that. Sorry, Zilby. It's it's loud, I know. Or it makes weird noises. Uh let's see. I need to go take a look at how the nav bar works. Oh, this is it. Okay. Username is attribute value. Okay. So should be easy enough. So we need a username in here. That's going to be an attribute value. I wonder if that should actually be an option so I can just pass that in. Or hmm, it's going to be like a none thing. Well, if we're logged in, you absolutely we should be setting it. But it's going to be a none. I, I think we're going to have to set the username to not be something like this. You're going to have to be an option with an attribute value. I don't think that changes. Oh, no, that does change this here. Where's that error coming from? Down here. Right, okay. So prop set username, we can do an unwrap or default maybe. Oh, 
Oh, cannot move out. Oh, okay. So power unwrap. We want some kind of ref here. As ref. Default is not satisfied. Default is implemented for implicit. Oh, so a string has it, but oh, that's too bad. I guess we'll do an unwrap or else. Uh, and I want to turn an attribute value. I wonder, can I can I do something like this? Learner. It's the wrong type, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so I wanted, can I do an into here? I might be able to. No, I can't do an into, okay. Uh, what I can do is attribute value from, Mismatch types, expected a reference. Oh, uh, okay. Mismatch type expected a reference to an I string found in enum. I string? Oh, oh, I have a reference here. Can I return? Well, I mean, yeah. Use Azref cloned. Oh, wait, I have to clone it here, don't I? Oh, that's what the problem is. Okay. I forgot to clone it. I probably don't need their ASREF, do not do I? I just clone it here and then I can unwrap or else. Yeah, because like if I'm going to clone it anyways, it now a um an attribute value is a smart pointer, I think. Uh so it should be fairly cheap to clone. Okay, so if I have that, let's head back over here. Let's open up Cargo Tamil and we'll use, oh, apparently I am already using local path. Okay, great. So then you are not showing me the correct thing. Let's go ahead and I would have expected that to say learner because I'm missing putting it in there. Why is that? Why is that not working? Did I fail to save this? Okay, unwrap for else attribute value from learner. Yeah, so I'm I'm trying to return this. And so username is not being passed in. Therefore, it should have something there, right? Maybe. Okay. I don't have any errors in here. Okay, that's fine. Those are okay, those are fine errors. Or they're not really even errors. They're war they're flags.
This is the only time we have this welcome here. So I, I think this is working. Is it not? Is it not recompiling? Okay, so let me try. I'm saving the cargo to Tommel, just just in case. I uh, didn't grab that. There it goes. Okay, so now we have that welcome learner, and I want to replace that with a welcome. Uh, set to app. Okay, so we have the auth store here. And so we have the nav route. So I think it's um, username is what we called it. So username is going to be auth store. Oh, you don't know what that is. Great. Uh, I think it's nickname. You can clone you. Okay, great. So now, log in. There we go. Welcome Meow, which is my my username, my nickname, which of course is just the the front part of my email address right now. Maybe later we can like create a form to change that or set that or maybe even like have it when we when we create the account. But okay. That's login. Uh, I do have some tests to make sure that that's working correctly, uh, but I need to hit for the network. When I do the get for this, I want to grab you. In our end-to-end -end test, we have our mock data coming in. So this user info mock data, I want to replace this with that. Okay, so uh, to make it not a real, uh, not real information, Could have just gotten zero. Okay, let's let's uh change this to something random. Uh nickname meow, that's fine. So meow at mail editor. Okay, that's gonna be great. I do need to I need to match that, don't I? I need to match what I'm sending out. Okay, well, I'll have to do an inject here. Uh, so name equals that. Okay, so nickname, everything else should be fine though with this. Okay, so save you. I want to go to my auth spec. Okay, when we create the account, we get this email, so the, the fake email. Actually, no, maybe it doesn't matter because uh, I'm just going to intercept and I'm just going to expect it to be that meow. So that'll, that'll be fine. Okay, so we can log into the account and I'm just expecting the href to match with the login URI is, so that should be fine. Revisiting website after logging in should work. Okay, so if I navigate to the site and the cookie is set, so we have this thing. So we have an auth spec. I think it's auth token that I want. I don't think I'm storing something called auth spec. Yeah, I just have, I have a bunch of auth states 
and a well i think this is all from old stuff oh so we're probably not doing this yet so this is probably going to fail but now that we're actually getting the user information and i know what's coming back we can handle this essentially so the idea is that if i navigate back to the site after having left it so if i hit refresh or do something like that i don't want to lose the login i want to use the token to get the user information and then that will tell me if the token is still good and if uh, I'll actually get the user info. So that's what I want to do. So only the token is stored, nothing else about the user. And I guess we can, well, from a testing point of view, Okay, so I'm I'm creating, I started doing this a little bit last night and I didn't really get very far. So we have this auth zero domain user info. So we're gonna intercept that route and I want to fulfill it with the user info mock data that we just sort of replaced. Uh, we then want to go to slash, wait until the network idle. We want to Interesting. I wonder if I need to. I need to do this in that order. We add a cookie. This is going to have to be the token. So I'm calling this auth underscore token, I believe. Okay. I uh, just made up a randomly looking token here. URL, okay, so just whatever that URL is. So, okay, we create the cookie. Then I navigate to slash. We wait until the network idle. That should intercept this route and fulfill with it user mock data. And then I expect welcome meow to be visible because that's what's in that user mock data. Okay, so if I do that, this should fail. So, uh, npm, oh, I don't have this in there. We have mpx. Okay, revisiting website after logging in should work. Uh, that's the one we expect to fail because we haven't really done the real thing for it. Uh, oh, blank page could not have cookie auth token. Okay. So I almost feel like I need to go to the Okay, can I do something like page dot context is a method, I think. Okay, so I, I create the context. So I get the context from the page. So I go to the page, I add the cookies, and then I go back to the page again. So essentially refreshing. Let's try that. I want it to fail because, you know, it's not actually doing the request. I miss the same, okay, so same tests. Oh, 
Okay, so now it's that took longer because it's waiting for that welcome meow and it didn't find it at all. So therefore, okay, so then now we want to actually do the thing. So I I almost also expect that we can test the We can do something similar here by testing the um, the redirect. Okay, so auth redirect should work. Okay, so I'm still going to fulfill that route. I want to go to, what is it? It's, uh, slash auth slash redirect. Okay, so go to slash auth slash redirect. Wait until network idle. Oh, except we also need to add in all the stuff, don't we? Right. We need we need to get all we need to get all of the like the URL and everything else. Otherwise that's gonna fail. Uh okay, so if I go to auth redirect, we can actually see what we're expecting here. I can cheat too by let's just get to this thing and we will panic because that's fun. All right, so go to login, login, that panics, that gives me access to you. Uh, remove you, we'll head back to the back all right const um so this is gonna be the redirect uri is equal to that that's fun okay so access token we can change this to be whatever access token we want. So I want to delete you until an ampersand. Yeah. So then you could just be like, uh oh, I did something wrong. I froze, I froze my Vim. I think I wrote some numbers in before I did insert, which means it's now gonna try to reproduce this like uh, 1,234 times maybe. Hopefully not with the 598 at the end. But I think it is. So if you're not used to Vim, if you do a number before you do an action, it will repeat that action that many times. Before I went into insert mode, I typed in the numbers and then forgot to press escape before then doing the thing. So I typed in the numbers like, oh, that's wrong. Hit I, did the right thing that I wanted to do. Yep, there we go. Uh, let's, you to undo that. Let's do this again. Insert mode first. Then I can do that. There we go. I'm glad it didn't crash. That's nice of it. Okay, so we have access. So we go to auth redirect. Uh, here's our token. And here's that state. 
We don't know what the state is. Ooh, this is gonna, oh, that's gonna fail. Can I get the state? Oh, I sorry. Sorry, Zobi. Can I get the state from a cookie? So, okay, let's let's try it. I I bet this is going to fail because the state's not going to match and that throws an error. Or it has the error sort of message in it. So we do this. So go to uh, go to redirect URI. Wait until network idle, and then you should see this to be visible. But I'm guessing that instead we're gonna see the error message visible, which I probably want to test that too. Hmm. I think I'm missing a lot of test cases. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe this weekend I'll, I'll sort of like come together with like all my test cases and sort of catch up on them because I think I'm behind on a, on a bunch of them. I should switch over to the doing more test driven development if I can. All right. So if I save you and we rerun our test here, all right, let's see what happens. We know that that revisiting test is going to fail. It's that one down on line 67. But auth redirect should work. Yeah, I'm expecting that to fail too because of the state mismatch. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got. So we have, this is revisiting website. That's the one down there. So that's the, okay, it's not visible. That's fine. You are, auth redirect should work. Okay. You're showing it not visible, but I think, I bet that if we open up the trace, we'll see the error message here. Yep, there it is. Encounters an error when logging in. So that, that sort of error right there, that is the state mismatch. Okay, so. To fix that, I want to, so we have this, this cookie here. I need to get the cookie for the state. So that's, um, Let's head here. So we go to auth redirect. So I want to go to login here. And then that gives me this. The state's now been set. So I want to extract out. Let me clear all the cookies. Okay. I want to extract the auth state from path slash auth. Okay. So. I want now const um, state is going to be equal to page dot context. Now cookies here. If no URLs are specified, this method returns all cookies. If URLs are specified, only cookies that affect those URLs are returned. Can I get like a specific cookie? 
or am I always going to get all the cookies? Okay, fine. Cookies. Um, this is in Auth. Uh, okay, so okay, so we get the cookies. You are going to be an array of oh, an array of cookie. This is not not fun. I want to loop through the cookies and get the right one. So the state cookie is going to be equal to cookies. Uh, it's an array, so maybe we can find this one. OK, so we can find. OK. Name is equal to what is your name? Auth underscore state. Okay. So we're gonna find you. Now you could be a nun. So you could be a null or undefined potentially. Aren't cookies always the answer? Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Also, hello stacking. Even when you don't know what to do, just save cookies. Like, just, just save everything to a cookie. It'll be fine. Uh, okay, so we have our state cookie. Um, if we don't have the state cookie, we'll do a guard here. So if not state cookie, then I want to throw a new error. Um, State cookie doesn't exist. Okay, so we should find the state cookie at this point. We do have it, uh, which means we should have it as a value. So our redirect URI is now going to be one of these. And state is going to be equal to our state cookie dot value. OK. So then, now that we have a redirect URI, uh, then we should, OK, we create our interceptor. I might want to do this just up top. OK, now we go to auth redirect. We don't go to auth redirect. We go to redirect URI. Uh, I probably want get rid of you. OK. So we go to base URL plus that. I don't know if you could hear that. That was mine. My volume is way up. Sorry about that. Uh, do, OK, so we go to the redirect URI. We wait into the network site all. We now add a token cookie. No, uh, auth redirect should work. I don't need to add a token cookie. All of this stuff should now happen for it. I was just copying the other one. OK, so we go to the redirect URI. We wait until network is idle. Uh, I don't need to go there again. Now I can just expect to see, hey, we have that. So if I save you, auth redirect should work. Except no, no, don't show that one again. Run the test again.
auth redirect should work is not working. But it's failing right away. So there's probably some kind of crash. Or maybe you can't find the cookie and it's throwing the air. That might be what's happening. Okay, let's see what happened here. Uh, so this is revisiting, that's that one. Auth redirect, okay, this one. So, get the cookies. Oh, invalid URL slash auth. Okay, I guess I didn't know how to use cookies. I thought, okay, I thought it was the path that I wanted. I guess not. If no URLs are specified, uh, specify this method returns all cookies. If URLs are specified, only cookies that affect those URLs are returned. Okay, I'll just get all the cookies. That'll be fine. Um, can I? And then test auth spec. Can I do something like an only in here? Only. Okay. I want, can you run those tests? Yeah, okay, auth redirect should work. Instant failure, lovely. Error state cookie doesn't exist. Okay, so I couldn't find the cookies. All right, can we, let's log out all the cookies. Maybe when we're in here, We can console.log cookie. Oh, I need return that. Okay, let's try this again. I think I can get the the logs out. Oh yeah, here we goes. Okay. Code pen. What are these cookies? CFPM, 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 CFPM. Oh, we got our cookies were not set at all. Oh. Okay. So when I navigate to auth redirect, so I should see that here. So if I delete all these cookies, I navigate to oh, auth login. I go to auth login. That's that's probably why. Okay, let's try this again. There's our auth state cookie. You're failing, but you're taking longer. Oh, it still couldn't find this cookie. Okay, but now we can see auth state is here. Okay. Along with the other weird ones, but okay, auth state is there.
Okay, so we go to Othlogan. We wait until Network Idle. I attempt to get all the cookies out. We're searching for the cookie name. Is auth underscore state. Okay. Cookie name is equal auth underscore state. I mean, that seems like it's right. Like I'm literally logging out what it is. Okay. Uh, let's try this. Cookie dot name is equal to auth state. Okay. We return that. And then if you don't exist, okay. Yeah, true, right there. So it found it. But if not stay cookie, huh? Why is that not finding it? Like find should do the thing, right? Is very is like running it multiple times. Cause I am seeing that we're getting that two times. Okay, so what if I let's go I'm I'm a little bit concerned that the playwright config is is hurting us here. Now, so I have retries one, so I can I can set that to no retries. Okay. Fully parallel is fine. Okay, let's try no retries. And then each of those should be running with one. Yeah, it should be fine, I think. Okay, so it still can't find the state cookie. Is that the same reason for all of them? Oh no, that one got to this point. Oh, and that one got to this point. Okay, so in Chrome, it got the cookie and was expecting the meow to be here. Okay. In Firefox, it got the cookie and expected the meow to be there. But of course, in WebKit, it failed to get the cookie. So if it ran the WebKit last, okay. I think there's a way for me to tell it to run just for WebKit. Yeah, okay, so I can do dash dash browser WebKit. Oh, OK, 
cannot use browser option when configuration file defines projects. Specify browser name in the projects instead. Oh, okay. So I have to go and do this in while I'm here. I don't have, oh, I don't have a keyboard command for, let's, let's do this. Uh, what is it? That's, all right, so only WebKit, only test WebKit. Oh, without that thing. Right, okay, so fails to get the cookie. WebKit, wh Safari, why do you always have to be so difficult? Playwright, uh, cookies, WebKit. Is there like something else I need to do? Cookie added but ignored. Is this specifically WebKit or all of them? Having similar issue where the playwright Docker image is being told to drive a Safari WebKit browser, but no matter what we give it for the new browser context, it seems to be ignored. In this case, the browser is expecting US format dates. But okay, so that's closed. Let's take a look at some other issues. Um, cookie. So many different things in here. Okay, let's try. Okay, I wanna maybe, so we get a list of the cookies. Um, okay, so we're, wait, wait, we're doing this log here. Oh, yeah, look at that. The cookies aren't being set. Like I'm getting all the cookies and there's nothing there. Okay, okay. Now I have not tested this site out on Safari. Let me try that. So if I go to localhost uh, 8082, Storage, cookies. Okay, I've got no cookies in here. We go to login. Well, would you look at that? There are no cookies in here. Okay, that's our problem. Well, Boo. Okay, so how do you set cookies in, in Safari? Is it is it different, of course? I bet it's different. 
uh, Safari set cookie. Wait, do I have cookies disabled? Are they disabled by default? Okay, block all cookies is not set. Okay, so that's not it. Okay. Let me try coming back to here. What? No, don't do that. Okay, how do I open up? There it goes. All right, so I want to open up a console. Can I do both at the same time? Can I have storage? Yeah, okay. They have stolen the uh, the dev stuff from uh, from Chrome, so I'm not. I mean, at least they're learning that they need to have this. Okay, so we have no cookies. Uh, undo document dot cookie. Now, normally you do something like you just create a cookie like this. So it'd be like what name equals blah secure something like that. That doesn't work. How about document dot? Oh yeah, that's completely empty. Okay, so uh, Safari set cookie JavaScript. Okay. Now here's a complaint about this. Safari version 15.2, unlike other browsers refuses to set secure cookies on the localhost origin. So you'll need to add a workaround just for Safari. Why? That is so stupid. That is, uh oh. Okay, so I have to detect that I'm on Safari. Wait a second, oh, wait a second. Okay, so if I if I go to the deployed version of this, uh, which is builds, no, it's learning.bricksbuilds, I think. So if I come here, cookies, let's, okay, so I've got no cookies. I go to login. Oh, login. Okay, so you're just totally broke. Oh, you know why? Because all this is in a branch. It's not deployed. I have to deploy this to find out whether or not it's working this way. Because I haven't, I haven't actually deployed any of this code. Oi. Um. Can I detect what browser? 
How do I detect that I'm on WebKit? Uh, detect browser engine JavaScript. Oh, we can use the user agent. I want to serve different ones. I guess I could make the cookies not be secure. Okay. Uh, so. Wait, that did work? Oh, okay. I don't know why. Did I just forget to hit the refresh button? The cookie is being set. And this cookie is a secure cookie. Okay. So just like Stack Overflow said, Safari refuses to set the cookie if it's secure and in localhost. which means I can't run the tests because the tests are all running the local host. So I'm going to have to create a workaround just for Safari on local host because of... Ugh. That is infuriating. Absolutely infuriating. Oh, so my new reason to hate Safari is, is, is this now, why, okay, just, okay, thank you, Safari, for this, this is going to be, you're going to give me a lot of extra work to do, um, I, I'm gonna have to think about like how I want to solve this. Do I want to like detect if we're on Safari and then run a uh, then to create a different cookie that way, or maybe detect if we're on localhost and not use secure cookies in localhost, but use secure cookies everywhere else? It's probably gonna be one of those two things. Um, I so it's not HTTP. I need to like with the JavaScript to, on the front end determine if we're Say with just go localhost, probably, yeah. We're gonna have to, okay, so I can get the URL and then check to see if localhost is in the first part of it, yeah. We're gonna have, to, I bet we're gonna have to do that. All right, but that's gonna have to be later because it's 8.20. Uh, it's time for me to head to my day job and work. So uh, I will, I plan on being back tomorrow morning around 7 a.m. Mountain Time. Uh, wait, 7 a.m.? No, no between 7 a.m. Mountain Time and 9 a.m. Mountain Time. Sometime within those two periods, I will start streaming. And we usually go for a little bit of time. And we'll probably be working on this problem. So we'll um, hopefully finish up the authentication. I was really hoping that I would be able to just, the test would just work. But of course they don't. So anyways, we'll do that tomorrow. So have a great rest of your Friday. And I will see you next time. Bye.